In this unit, we broadly discuss the vocabulary associated with data collection. When we want to describe a phenomenon, the sample we collect should be random and representative. And when we measure a variable or a characteristic from the members of that sample, we should understand how that variable is measured. On what scale is it measured? Nominal, ordinal, interval, or ratio? Broadly, nominal and ordinal data describe qualitative variables, while interval and ratio data describe quantitative variables. By their nature, we have to treat qualitative variables differently from quantitative variables in how we graphically depict them and in how we calculate summary statistics. Our approaches for depicting qualitative data were limited to bar graphs and pie charts, wherein we visualize the count of observations falling into each of several categories. With these graphical depictions, we get a sense of how frequently the different qualitative categories occur. Quantitative variables are either discrete or continuous. Discrete variables describe variables that take on integer values, while continuous variables are measured on a continuous number line. The most popular visualization technique for quantitative data is the histogram, which depicts the frequency of discretized classes or ranges of the quantitative variable along the horizontal axis. With a histogram, we get a sense of how data are distributed. What is the average value? What's the most likely value? Are there any extreme values? And so on. In addition to graphical depictions, numerical descriptive statistics are also helpful. Common measures of central tendency, or broadly where the center of a data set lies, are the mean, median, and mode. The mean is the average value that is affected by outliers while the median is the middle value of an arranged data set that is not affected by outliers. The mode is the most likely value in a data set. Measures of dispersion give us a better idea of the variability of a data set, or how broad is the range of that data set. The most common measure of dispersion is the variance, or a measure of the distance between each observation and the mean of the variable. The square root of variance is the standard deviation, which is measured in the units of the variable itself. We'll discuss the relationship between the population and samples from that population, and how we can use sample means and standard deviations to estimate population parameters later on in subsequent units.